Well, wouldn't you know it, just as we were getting into April, no fool in Nate, Mojave Max decides to come out of his burrow yesterday. Yeah, we're going to talk about that and show some pictures that were sent to us uh, by the Springs Preserve. But we wanted to go ahead and start with traffic and talk about how things are moving along very nicely. Now, close observers, junior traffic buddies, may notice here on our traffic maps that the green flowing lines are back. The company that supplies that data uh, is all back up and uh, running at 100%. Uh, so are the freeways right now. We'll zoom in down towards the I-15. This is going to be between, say, Sahara and looking down towards uh, uh, Spring Mountain and on towards Flamingo. All lanes are open and everybody's moving along. That also includes that ongoing repaving project, though you're down to one lane in each direction. This is on Las Vegas Boulevard uh, between Sahara and Spring Mountain, not showing on the map, but also included in that is the repaving project on Koval between Sands and Tropicana. But let's go ahead and talk about the Valley's favorite tortoise. He has officially marked the arrival of spring-like weather in Southern Nevada. Yeah, Mojave Max came out of his burrow at exactly 1139. Yeah, yesterday morning and that's important we'll get to it local elementary school students they've been studying the Mojave Desert with thousands guessing the exact time that Max would wake up now the folks from the Clark County Desert Conservation Program going through all those entries to find the student who did guess closest to Max's emergence time winning student not only gets a year-long family membership to the Springs Preserve they also get a laptop computer and depending on the coronavirus situation a field trip for his or her whole class to the Springs Preserve to meet Max but uh, as exciting as that is, I think for the kids, it's also even more exciting that they get a pizza party, John.